What size does the largest of modern frogs reach? Where did the pig that the entire village was afraid of live? And what's so unique about a parrot from New Zealand? Watch the episode to the end and you'll find out everything. In this episode, you'll see incredible animals distinguished by their crazy side. Let's go! Old Slot Do you have any phobias? Fear of spiders, for example? Or maybe fear of confined spaces? If not, that's a very good thing. You can thank fate that you weren't born in the same village as this giant pig because you definitely have a fear of pigs. At least you'd be afraid of this particular pig. The locals were seriously afraid to go near him because of his incredible size. A boar named Old Slot lived on a private farm in the UK. According to some reports, the animal weighed six tons. He was 10 feet in height and even more in length. There's no special information about this animal. It remained a secret, but as the farmers told, the pig was not a mutant. It was fed with ordinary food, and it had standard living conditions. It was probably all about genetics. Palm Thief If you think that only pigs can be gigantic, you're deeply mistaken. In fact, there are many other, no less amazing creatures in nature, including representatives of crustaceans. For example, a species called the palm thief. This monster lives near the sea, in the tropics on the islands of the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans. It often visits local residents, causing quite a stir. It'd be logical to think that there's nothing much the thief can do. I mean, it's just a crab. But in this case, it's not so simple. The palm thief's size is phenomenal. An adult can weigh 9 pounds. But don't think that this is a very large and hearty appetizer for beer. It's quite the opposite. The giant knows how to stand up for itself. Its claws are so strong that with one bite, the crab is able to break the offender's <laughs> phalanx. In addition, it does not follow the rules of its crustacean relatives and does not hide from problems. The palm thief is used to solving all problems immediately. That's why, when it was born and lived underwater for a while, realizing that this was not the best environment for it, the crab grew full-fledged lungs and became a land dweller. The gills it breathed through as a baby eventually stopped functioning on their own. It's called the thief partly for nothing. No, it doesn't steal fruit from palm trees. Rather, it was human imagination. In fact, this crab just drags anything in sight into its house. It doesn't matter if it's edible or not. Did you call the world's largest frog? No? Well, it's here anyway, all the way from Africa. Meet the Goliath frog. The length of its body can reach 12 and a half inches, and along with the hind legs, it reaches almost 3.2 feet. At the same time, it weighs more than 7 pounds. The animal lives in the waterfalls of fast and full-flowing tropical rivers. Unlike many other frogs that are not afraid of swamps, the Goliath frog likes the water to be crystal clear and full of oxygen. It's believed that this is the reason why it's managed to reach such an amazing size with evolution. But do not think that arriving at its habitat, you'll immediately see this beautiful creature. That's not true. Goliath frogs are quite secretive. The gray color helps the creature blend in with the equally gray rocks. Everything's okay with reproduction in Goliath frogs. During the dry season, the female lays on the rocks more than 10,000 eggs with a diameter of 0.1 to 0.2 inches. It would seem that there should be no problems with the population, but despite this, the frog is still gradually disappearing from the face of the earth. This is due to tourists hungry for delicacies who are ready to pay huge sums of money for a large and rare individual. Japanese Giant Salamander The name of this creature speaks for itself. It feels like it came to us straight from the Harry Potter movies or some other mystical cinematic universe. But it's actually a real amphibian from real life. The weight of this shapeless substance can reach 77 pounds, and its length is 5 feet. However, this does not mean that there cannot be larger individuals in nature. Salamanders grow literally all their lives, so the main old ones can surpass the last record holders in terms of size. It's a mistake to think that they're just a liquid flatbread that can be pierced with a finger or other oblong object. In fact, their skin is lumpy, hard, and covered in mucus. 
Otherwise, the current will just smash them against the rocks and they could say goodbye to their amazing appearance. You can't learn too much about them. It's all about their reclusive lifestyle. They're not used to being seen. They sit somewhere on the bottom, guard the area, and if possible, catch creatures that swim by. Their hunting looks like suction, and as a rule, the food is not chewed, but digested inside. Such a miracle lives a very long time, perhaps up to 100 years, but no detailed studies have been done. Here's an interesting fact. These salamanders are able to regenerate lost limbs, which makes researchers study these creatures more carefully and attentively. Kakapo Unusual parrots have entered the chat. Nocturnal, flightless birds, endemic to New Zealand. According to DNA studies, the kakapo belongs to the oldest surviving family of the parrot family. To date, it's the only flightless parrot, and at the same time, the heaviest one. But how does it manage to survive on land? Let's find it out. So the first thing that attracts attention is, of course, a strong gray beak. The parrot needs it to grind food and absorb it with its small throat, which, by the way, is surprising for such a relatively large bird that weighs 9 pounds and has a body length of 24 inches. The diet of the kakapo is quite simple. Basically, it includes berries and pollen. The kakapo flies, or rather glides, from one place to another in search of the best food. Its wings help it in this. Although the kakapo cannot fly, it is able to glide from one branch to another or to soften the fall by spreading its wings. But despite the fact that this bird wishes no harm to anyone, its condition is not enviable. It's on the verge of extinction. The main reason for this is the activity of rodents introduced by humans, as well as the destruction and alteration of their range by humans and ungulates introduced to the islands of New Zealand. In 2004, the situation only worsened as the birds were also exposed to a new virus. As a result, there's only about 250 of them left today. Giant African Land Snail Snails can be huge too. This strange creature, as if coming to us from another planet, has two pairs of horns, the first of which are olfactory, and at the ends of another pair there are beady eyes. The eyes work normally, but they're not as simple as it may seem. They're configured for autofocus and for recognizing objects at a distance of only a centimeter. But not everything in these snails is so small. For example, they have a gigantic number of teeth. There are about 20,000 of them. Of course, they're very small. They're used by the snail to eat all sorts of green goodies. After such a dinner, the giant African land snail, like all its relatives, secretes mucus used by some experts in cosmetology. Just imagine, people put these giants on their faces. Would you dare to do something like that? Personally, I wouldn't. After all, these creatures can even eat bones to get some calcium. Now I'll tell you about the only member of the vulture genus, which is common in the Andes and on the Pacific coast of South America. It's not difficult to guess that this is why the bird is called the Andean condor. For the first time, this bird was described in the 10th edition of the Sistema Naturae in 1758. But rock paintings depicting the condor appeared two to 3,000 years ago, and Europeans first encountered the condor and described it in 1553. The locals are convinced that this bird is the ruler of the upper world, and you know, it's hard to disagree with them. After all, this beautiful bird usually does not go below 10,000 feet above sea level. It weighs up to 33 pounds, and the length of adult birds on average is 43 inches. With such size, the condor cannot become an agile flyer. The condor is not able to take off from the ground without a run, but it doesn't need it. It's used to living somewhere high. The condor takes a single leap of faith and accelerates. At great speed, it easily catches the wind currents and even without frequent flapping of its wings, perfectly flies on the trajectory it needs. Despite its formidable appearance and impressive size, our South American friend feeds exclusively on carrion. This bird does not eat neither babies nor their animals. Yes, it's not the most honorable niche, but local animals respect the condor for this very reason. Forest sanitarians are needed everywhere and at all times. Although perhaps this respect is faked, since the animals simply don't want to mess with the giant. After all, its powerful beak can crush the bone of the opponent in one movement, 
and no one would like that. In general, the condor usually does not care about other animals, but it has a special relationship with wolves and cougars. The condor can take away their prey, which they've been searching for so long, and make them work hard again. Interestingly, because of that very beak and the bird's enormous size, no one can do anything against it in response. Some birds are feared by wolves and cougars, while others make even king cobras shiver. Secretary Bird A small, strong head with a gray miniature beak, a long neck, and an unusual body structure. This is the secretary bird, a very bright representative of the feathered creatures which stands out against others with its long, heron-like legs. Because of them, by the way, the secretary bird moves as if on stilts. But why are even cobras afraid of this beautiful bird? You'll find out now. Despite the fact that this relative of eagles strikes with grace and masterful ability to dance, it inhabits African savannas and is very fond of hunting snakes. Do you think a bird with this physique won't do anything to the slithering creatures? No way. Just look here. Did you even see how this creature kicked a rubber snake? Did you see how it trampled on it? Considering that this feathered creature's claws are not bent but wide and comfortable for striking, it's scary to imagine what this secretary bird's prey feels. This creature is up to 5 feet long, but it rarely weighs more than 9 pounds. Although it has a hefty wingspan of more than 6.5 feet, it does not enjoy flying. It loves to use its strong legs, which accelerate up to 19 miles per hour. Because the secretary bird is a raptor, it has incredible eyesight. It's all clear with mice and other small creatures. The bird notices them and leaves no chance to survive. But things are more interesting with large, venomous snakes. To prevent the enemy from injecting its toxin into the bird's body, the secretary bird uses its huge wings with long feathers as a shield. If the snake manages to make its deadly lunge, it won't bite anything but feathers. While the snake is terrified of its offender intelligence, the secretary bird simply presses the snake's head to the ground and then tramples it down. African Ostrich It's the largest bird in the world. Externally, it's unlike any other bird. It's almost 10 feet tall, weighs about 330 pounds, has an elongated and at the same time massive body covered with thick feathers. All this looks impressive. Despite the fact that the body of the ostrich is quite large, its head is quite tiny in comparison with its body. It's unattractive and even, one might say, dull. The beak is soft, flat, and ends with a horned thickening or outgrowth. But the eyes of African ostriches are large and very expressive. The main thing is not to focus too much attention on them because if an ostrich hypnotizes with its eyes, it'll destroy any victim in its path. It can't fly, but it wasted no time. Instead of flying, it masterfully learned to run and strengthened its bones greatly. Most predators are afraid to even look in the direction of the big bird, which it takes advantage of, except that most doesn't mean all. Big cats and hyenas still pose a serious threat to the giant. However, even if they attack it from behind, one wrong move can cost them the whole hunt because catching up with the African ostrich is problematic, to put mildly. In just a few seconds, it can reach speeds of over 43 miles per hour. Moreover, using the same powerful legs, the ostrich is also able to fight with an enemy. Its limbs are armed with a hard and sharp claw. With such a tool, the bird can inflict severe injury or even kill a lion. It's unclear why the ostrich doesn't use this opportunity to feed on large animals, whether it's because of its small and low-witted head or because of its wide and toothless beak, which can neither chew its prey nor properly swallow it. Southern Cassowary Imagine the situation. You're resting somewhere on the ocean shore, the weather's beautiful, the sun is shining, but then all of a sudden a bird that appeared from behind the bushes spoils everything. You don't know what it is and what it can do, but the fact that the bird behaves so aggressively and too interested is alarming. What would you do? If someone gets the idea to challenge the bird, forget it right away. This southern cassowary, which resembles a furrier ostrich, is armed with sharp and long claws mounted on incredibly strong legs. Just a couple of strikes with such a weapon practically guarantees a human to be wounded severely. It's better not to make a cassowary angry. It would be unfair, however, to cast aspersions on the cassowary for excessive aggression. It goes to extreme measures only with a defensive purpose to protect its possessions or chicks. 
However, if the encounter is unavoidable, it's worth understanding that running away from the southern cassowary is not worth it either. You simply can't do it, because they accelerate to incredible 31 miles per hour. And if we take into account the height of the bird at 5 feet and the fact that it weighs up to 176 pounds, then it's unlikely to fall. In short, the only thing to do is retreat and hope that the bird will stop being interested in you. By the way, in some languages, this creature is known as the cask cassowary. Do you know why this cassowary is called this? You have no idea? Well, scientists probably haven't figured it out yet either. Some believe that this sturdy, horned spur looking like a cask protects the head from wounds, helping it to get through the thicket while running. Others believe that cassowaries use a weapon in battles for dominance. Still, others view the cask as a secondary sexual character. Either way, this open-ended question makes the bird even more interesting and mysterious. The next bird in question causes a stir not only among other birds of prey, but also in the world of land animals. Even wolves are afraid of it. Having a wingspan of almost 8 feet, the golden eagle weighs up to 15 pounds, but size doesn't play a key role here. The main difference from other birds is its speed. This ruthless hunter is able to accelerate to an unthinkable 200 miles per hour. At the same time, the golden eagle makes practically no noise, which makes it an ideal hunter. Another plus in terms of finding prey is, of course, an incredible endurance. The raptor can spend hours circling in the air to track down the most suitable prey for today's menu. As soon as it's spotted, the proud bird silently rushes down at an inconceivable speed, hooks everything it catches, and immediately drags it to the dinner table. If it's cloudy weather, it's beneath its dignity to fly and tolerate the constant precipitation. Usually, the eagle prefers to sit somewhere on the branches and observe the wind from there. If you think that in the case there's a chance to miss a prey, you'd be right only in relation to a human. The golden eagle, unlike us, has incredibly acute eyesight, which is achieved by the fact that in each eye it has not one, but two zones of maximum concentration of receptors. Nature has gifted its eyes with special ring muscles. It's also worth paying attention to the mating games of these birds. They're not polygamous and choose a single partner at once for life. And despite their strict temperament, they also, like others, play catch-up, claw at each other, or dance in the air. One of their favorite methods to surprise the opposite sex is the garland flight. A male can perform the aerobatics both alone and in pair. Having gained considerable height, the golden eagle goes down sharply, relaxing almost to a state of freefall. Before it touches the ground, it'll take off sharply and be back at high altitude. Guys, I think I found the most devoted KISS fan. It's the bearded vulture, also known as the Lammergeier. It's about 4.1 feet long, of which 1.6 feet are just the tail. Bearded vultures weigh about 18 pounds and have a wingspan of up to 10 feet. Often these birds hunt small game, but much less humane cases have also been recorded. In them, bearded vultures have tried to throw large animals off a cliff, pushing them. This clever act allows the Lammergeier to immobilize its target and break its bones as easily as we break instant noodles. What's this done for? It's all done for the same reason we do it, to make it easier to eat. This feathered master usually hovers at altitudes of up to 10,000 feet, though there have been cases where it's been found twice as high. Eurasian Eagle Owl Most of us associate the owl with an intelligent, calm, and non-conflictive feathered creature. But what if I told you that there is one extremely powerful owl in the world which diet includes 600 animals? Yeah, you got that right. I'm talking about the Eurasian Eagle Owl. Its body length usually exceeds 24 inches and a weight of 4 to 7 pounds, and its wingspan reaches almost 6.5 feet. This bird can be found in most of Eurasia, the Middle East, and North Africa. It's a typical Eurybiont, the name given to living organisms that can exist in completely different biotopes. The Eurasian Eagle Owl is the largest of the owls, and at the same time, one of the most secretive. It can stalk its prey invisibly and lightly as it moves through the woods, and the latter will not even take notice. The flight of the Eurasian Eagle Owl is silent, and this bird considers silence to be gold, so it fearlessly settles within the city limits with the onset of cold weather. There's a lot of food for the Eurasian Eagle Owl here. The main period of the Eurasian Eagle Owl activity is night. Depending on the part of the area and time of the year, preferences may be given to one or another type of prey. Yes, that's how selective the Eurasian Eagle Owl is. 
Nevertheless, in most cases it feeds on small rodents, although these owls are not averse to eat some birds and hares. Moreover, the Eurasian eagle owl can attack even ungulates. Which birds do you think have the biggest eggs? And which egg is bigger, the ostriches or the crocodiles? Let's find it out. The biggest eggs. The eggs belonging to the gharial open this list. This reptile is a species of crocodile. Unfortunately, gharials are hunted for their unique skin, so they're on the verge of extinction. Gharials are easily recognized by their long, elongated jaws, which they use to catch fish. It's this shape of mouth that distinguishes them from other crocodile species. Gharials go out on land to bask in the sun, build their nests, and make a clutch. Their eggs are elongated, 7 centimeters long and 5.5 centimeters in diameter. The female buries them in the sand, and they're warm by the sun. A young female lays 35 to 60 eggs at a time. The mother protects the nest with the clutch from the lizards until the offspring emerge and continue to do so until the babies learn to defend themselves on their own. Next, we have the golden eagle bird of prey. Unlike gharials, female golden eagles are larger and heavier than males. Every year, a female golden eagle lays one to three white eggs with brownish-gray speckles, which are 7.5 centimeters in length and 5 to 6 centimeters in diameter. Then it incubates them for about 45 days, and its partner provides it with food. 80 days after hatching, the chicks begin to fly and leave their nest completely after five months. The following large eggs belong to a giant lizard with the beautiful name of the Komodo dragon. These lizards not only lay eggs but also eat them. They do not care which eggs they eat – bird eggs, snake eggs, turtle eggs, or the eggs of other lizards. Komodo dragon eggs are about 10 centimeters long and 6 centimeters in diameter, and weigh up to 200 grams. The female guards the nest for eight to eight and a half months until the babies hatch. Young lizards are born in April or May. Once born, they leave their mother and immediately climb nearby trees. To avoid potential dangerous encounters with adult Komodo dragons, young Komodo dragons spend the first two years of their lives in the tree canopy, where they're out of reach of adults. Cranes share the next place in terms of egg size with emperor penguins. Crane's eggs reach a length of 11.5 centimeters and a diameter of 6.5 centimeters. The female lays two eggs a year with a few days interval. After about a month, a chick hatches from there. Emperor penguins lay eggs about the same size, 12 centimeters long and 9 centimeters in diameter. A few hours after the appearance of the egg, the male, which has brood pouch, starts taking care of the egg. The female, after starving for 45 to 50 days, goes to sea to feed. In any weather deterioration, males gather in tight groups, which helps keep future offspring alive. The kiwi bird places third. A female kiwi weighs up to 4 kilograms, but is able to lay an egg that weighs up to 500 grams. This means that its egg is only eight times lighter than the kiwi bird is. And that's if we take into account big birds. On average, a kiwi egg weighs about 25% of the female body weight. No less impressive is the length of a kiwi egg which can be 20 centimeters, while the length of the female is about 60 to 70 centimeters. As for the process itself, the female eats three times as much as usual during egg carrying. Two to three days before the egg is laid, it stops eating because by this time the egg takes up too much space inside its body. When the kiwi lays the egg, the male starts incubating it and leaves the baby only for the feeding period. Next are the emu eggs. They're about 15 to 21 centimeters long and weigh about 2 kilograms. Emus grow up to 190 centimeters in height and reach a weight of 55 kilograms. Their eggs have a peculiarity. After laying, the eggs are green in color. Then the color changes, sometimes to charcoal black. The female lays up to 15 to 25 eggs, and the male incubates them and doesn't let anyone near the clutch. Not even the female. And the first place belongs to the ostrich. Its eggs are 21 centimeters long, 15 centimeters in diameter, and weigh 2 kilograms. Due to these parameters, they have a shape closest to a ball. The shell of these eggs is also very thick, about 6 millimeters. Usually, a male ostrich has several females, one main and several secondary ones. The main female lays up to 20 to 60 eggs, depending on the region. The nest is placed on the ground and is dug by the male. When the hole is ready, the female takes its place. 
all other females then lay eggs in the same nest, and in about six weeks, the chicks are born. By far, ostriches have the largest eggs among birds at the moment, but there have been even cooler records in history. Take, for example, the eggs of the elephant birds. They were up to 32 centimeters long and 20 centimeters in diameter, and could weigh up to 10 kilograms. The birds themselves were up to 3 meters high and weighed about 450 kilograms. Unfortunately, this species disappeared from our planet several centuries ago. It may seem that, in general, all eggs are similar in shape and way of laying. In fact, it's much more interesting than that. Stay tuned to find out what animal lays the most unusual eggs in the world and what creature has the most exotic way of laying them. There are many more interesting things to come. The Most Unusual Eggs Shark About a third of sharks lay eggs, which take about six months to develop. The unusual shape of the egg capsule saves the babies from the unstable sea and from being eaten by predators. For example, the horn shark egg in the shape of a spiral protects the baby shark from predators. A prey of this shape is not easy to swallow, and the strings on the cat shark's eggs allow them to get hooked on the underwater ground so they don't end up on the shore after the tide. Mantis The mantis lays eggs in foam, which eventually hardens and becomes a protective capsule. The insects attach the clutch to the stems or branches of the plant, or even place it on the ground. Mantis eggs successfully survive the winter and temperate climate, hatching in the spring, whereas adults cannot withstand cold temperatures. Octopus Octopuses have their soft, translucent eggs on ledges of rocks or coral. Females lay hundreds of thousands of eggs at a time and stay to protect them from hungry predators until they hatch. This often takes a long time. So, some octopuses eat some of their eggs to survive. After the tiny babies hatch, they feed on microscopic organisms until they grow large enough to live on the seafloor as adults. Lacewing The lacewing's clutch resembles that of an outlandish plant because the eggs are arranged on one centimeter long filaments. They attach themselves to plants, most often to those where a colony of aphids lives. After hatching from the eggs, the little insects descend to the plant and use the aphids as food. This, by the way, is how the lacewings earned their fame as the savior of gardens. Yellowhead Jawfish This animal owes its name to the peculiarities of egg care. The male keeps the eggs in its mouth until the babies hatch. On average, it takes seven to nine days. During this time, it does not eat anything, so it loses a lot of weight. The juvenile fishes become independent almost immediately, and the male can finally regain its lost strength. Who lays eggs in an unusual way? Fire salamander The breeding process of fire salamanders is not fully studied. In addition, there are significant differences in the breeding cycles of salamanders of this species depending on the habitat and its altitude above sea level. As a rule, shortly before giving birth, females gather on the banks of reservoirs and enter the water, choosing such coastal areas of mountain streams where water is clean enough, but where there's no strong current. One female gives birth to about 50 larvae in several steps over the course of 7 to 10 days. In captivity, the fire salamander has been known to lay eggs with unformed larvae that finish their development within a few days in eggs laid in water. Sea turtle Sea turtles are remarkable because they lay their eggs in the places where they hatch themselves. To do so, they swim many kilometers, females crawl out onto dry land, dig a pitcher-shaped hole in the sand or other soil with their hind legs and lay the eggs in it. Then the female fills the hole with sand and carefully rams it down, making the clutch as inconspicuous as possible. The entire process takes about an hour, after which the female returns to the ocean and no longer cares about its offspring. During the entire nesting season, which happens every two or four years, the female lays four to seven clutches of 150 to 200 eggs each. However, the percentage of sexually mature turtles per clutch does not exceed a hundredth of a percent, which is a serious obstacle to the recovery of the sea turtle population. That's all, guys. Have you seen with your own eyes how baby animals hatch from eggs? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.